everyone. I'm so excited to tell you about this podcast. It's called The DK Project, but it's really The Darren Show. So thanks for tuning in. You're going to want to sit back, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. Let's go! <laughs> Division <laughs> champions. That's a big deal. Hasn't happened in a long time. No, it hasn't. Way to go, Rocco. Oh, I know. He's so Italian, too. This is his first year, isn't it? Yeah. Rocco Baudelli taking it to the playoffs. Who are we going to get round one? Yankee? Yankees. Mother yeah. of Troy. Well, I mean. That ain't cool. That like ain't 90% cool. 90% the Yankees, yeah. I, uh, I think that I... Uh, I'm kind of happy. I like the postseason baseball. I do too. As long as we're not one series and done. Let's go. We need to go a little further. We need to take it to the next level. I'm feeling that tune. Put me in, coach. Oh, I'm yeah. ready to play. Yeah, look at me. Today. I can play. Center field. Center field. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. John Fogarty's I'm rolling over right feeling now. Feeling that. That's horrible. Hey, I just saw a thing posted for somebody who's coming to town. Who? And he's one of the Eagles. Yeah, Creedon, Creedon, or no, the Eagles? Yes. And I don't, I've never heard the name before. And it says in in, in smaller letters, formerly with the Eagles. Yeah. I'll have Which to look up who is it is. I'll have to look up uh, who it is so that we can uh, address that accordingly. But I think he's coming to like uh, Mystic Lake or somewhere. Which particular? Name the Eagles. Yeah. Which particular eagle? Well, the three that you would want to know, like Don Henley, you would know yeah, that. Right. Joe Walsh, you would yeah. know that. Yeah. My Maserati to go 185. Oh! I lost my license. <laughs> now Who's I don't one? drive. Glenn Fry. Glenn Fry. None of those. Who's the oh, other it's one? The other cat. I know his name too. Nobody knows who no, he is. No, I do know who he is. Um, I'm, 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 um, oh, I suck right now. I'm in the music world. I should know this. Fail. Epic. A total fail. Fail. Put me back on the bench, Coach. So uh, while Dave's Googling that up, let's talk a little twins here. We got uh, the division uh, closed out on the division championship last night. So we, uh, what is there, three games left of the season? Yep. So we got to uh, muscle our way through those and put the... Uh, Lesser valued players in so we can avoid an injury. How, what is our health status at this juncture? Well, were you just quitting on the Eagles guy? Yeah. We're a little <laughs> shook up. We, we've got a pitching problem. That's my thing. The, so we have eggs over easy, yeah. which Dan Cole, common man, calls him, which I think is brilliant. I, don't I think like we it. We refer to him on this show. Yeah, we just did. Dan Felder. Dan Felder. Dan Felder's from the coming Eagles. to town. Yes, it is Dan if Felder. If they have to say <laughs> formerly of the Eagles, you're not an Eagle. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry you're Dan. out. You're out. Okay, so we got eggs over easy. Well, we're, yeah, we're totally ripping that off just for plagiarism content. From the Common Man. From the Common Man. The Common Man, Dan Cole. Yeah. Who's actually pretty funny. Oh, shut your mouth. But he bugs me a little bit. He is, he's doing the same shtick. Every day. Every and day. And getting a paycheck and he for it. he gets a paycheck for it. <laughs> yeah. I, last time I listened to him, he went, sorry, I was out playing whatever dumb bullshit course I played today, and I went uh, nine iron, uh, wedge, wedge, putter, putter, and then I went to the next hole, and it went driver- Wedge, putter, and uh, you know, then I rounded out the third. That's sort of uh, that was a shtick. I'm like, dude, going through your club choices on whatever course is not entertainment. That's bullshit filler. I don't know. People hey, I went seem to, to the, like it. I went to the gas station today and I put in some unleaded. I went left side, you know, because did that's you go eighty seven? Jeez, oh, I was putting cheap shit in. <laughs> I went wedge, wedge, putter. Uh, so anyway, back to the Twins, which are way more important than some uh, current morning, or no, he's afternoon. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. What's the pitching status? We've got nothing? Well, so we have two pitchers that can kind of roll here in the two for sure's. Two? 
Yeah, two what do we starters. want to have at this juncture for starters? That's where the problem. You'd is. want to have three, for sure. Maybe four three rolling long, into three a series. long, long. Yeah. Okay, so for starters, so you have Barrios and Odorizzi, and then you kind of don't have. Well, the big guy. Yeah. I don't know his name. I don't know anybody. Pineda. Pineda. He had a little problem with PEDs, so he's suspended for 60 games. Ooh. So he can't pitch. So he's out. He's out. He's O-U-T. Right. Because the so, PEDs. Right. O-U-T for the PEDs, for the EEGs. You big dummy. For the CEGs. Lamont, <laughs> yeah. you big dummy. So he's out. What are you doing with the PEDs? Right. So he's out. <laughs> So I don't know. They're gonna have to do this thing where Whatever. they start We're just a reliever. Have to bang the home runs. They're gonna have to have a bullpen game. What are we at? Two ninety nine on the home runs. That's, mm-hmm. that's tight, brother. We're gonna take it over three. Tied with the Yankees. We can do. Anything. Oh, for sure, it'll go over three hundred. So stay tuned. The Yankees have two ninety nine too. Yeah, I think it's. I think exactly. Son so of a predicts, man. I I predict that we have uh, by the end of the week, and we have three oh five. Whoa! What do you have? 306. <laughs> My price is right at you. <laughs> yeah, you, <did. laughs> you could have went one dollar. <laughs> hey, uh, so all right, that's enough on the twins. Nobody cares. I do. Well, we'll care more next week when we're because they start their first playoff game on Monday, I think. Nope. Week from Monday. Maybe Friday. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> just, just making it up. They start it where they start it. <laughs> just making it up hey, as you go along. Guess who was in Arizona this weekend? You. LDK went to visit the kid. Not a very warm reception. Really? He's Were you ha- kind of getting in having, his way? He's having too much fun. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is like a cro- this is like a hybrid between summer camp and Club Med. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I was blown away by how uh, how. In, oh man, I tell you, we saw that. Oh, we, we flew in Friday and caught a soccer game. That was cool. He got to play, played half the game, which was awesome. He actually played with the local kid here, uh, Nels, who's also going to the same school. Yeah. So, so it was fun to see them, even though they weren't wearing the red and black, they were in the purple and purple and purple. But uh, so we did that, and then we ended up going back to the hotel. And then the next day, we took him shop and did the whole bit. Went back to the to the deal, drove onto campus, unloaded all the crap, took a big load to the dumpster. And I look over, and the and their swimming pool. There's eight swimming pools on the property, just packed. Chicks in bikinis, dudes playing volleyball. I'm like, man, alive! I should enroll. Did I should... you throw a suit on? Oh. Did you get in there? Did you after your recent trip it was over embar- to it, Europe? Did you? Put, it was embarrassing you, enough you, for me to be you, there. If I would have thrown you, a a speeder on, he would have <laughs> never talked to me again. Absolute chaos. But it was crazy, man. I, I was blown away, but. Couple strange things happened while I was there. What? One is I totally uh, we were cruising around on Saturday. We had to go here, there, here, there, whatever, all over the place. And I see this like truck cop vehicle behind me. So I'm like minding my p's and q's, you know. And I'm on a bridge, like an SUV. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And all of a sudden, yeah, the, the lights come on. Could have just right. Said that. Lights come on. Small stool in my pants. I'm like, Jesus, I I don't want to deal with. What that. have you I'm had? A couple ticket. Virgin Bloody Marys. A couple, a couple Virgos. <laughs> heavy on the uh, <laughs> salary sticks. Anyway, so this truck, I pull over right right away. I'm still on the bridge. This truck goes past me, like takes a hard left in front of me so like i'm looking at the driver's door of this vehicle and the lights are on sirens are on i'm like whoa like this is big he must have saw me at the virgin bloody mary bar right and uh then another car comes up and all of a sudden there's a uh like a there's five total cop cars i'm like well this ain't for me this is uh could i let the studio audience know quick that he just said five cop cars and he held up four fingers and he was just absolutely 100 percent sure I forgot about it. this middle one no you just went yeah, like, i left yes. this middle one down there earlier but now i'm gonna now i'm gonna put cars. the middle one up because i was between three and five i went with four <laughs> okay shut up dave it's my story <laughs> all right so uh so anyway five cop five cop cars all right 
uh, are everywhere. And I'm like, what the hell? And and Cole, my my college kid, goes, the Florida Panthers are going to the stadium. Carolina Panthers, son of a bitch. That's an edit. Carolina Panthers are going to the stadium. Yeah. Three buses, five cop cars to get them from their hotel to the stadium. And they just cut you off to make they, sure. That- I thought it was a terrorist attack. I'm like Mm-mm. looking for my service weapon in the rental car. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? Sure as shit. We're just moving the Panther. Thanks, thanks, Cam Newton. God, he sucks. I cut him off my What does that team. cost? I mean, really? I don't know. A lot. I'm like, I, I, I thought, I, I don't know. I was like, what? Uh, that's that's extreme amount of of security and uh, and police escort for for the Carolina Panthers. I mean, come on. I mean, I could understand. It's not like it Don Felder's in town. <laughs> yeah. Stop the presses! I know. Oh, formerly of the Eagles. So yeah, I was taken. I was like blown away. So anyway, we followed him down the road a little bit. I got a little footage for the old Instagram. That was a big deal. So fast forward to Sunday, and uh, I had called. I got a realtor out there that I work with, and I'm like, you know, I should probably peep a little real estate, you know, just to see what's going on out here. And it's like condo mania. There's condos everywhere. Right. So I got uh, the wife and the uh, 13-year-old in the car, and we're rolling. We go look at the first one. Not so great. Go look at the second one, eh, somewhat okay, but not a great area. So we're rolling down the road to go to the next one, and the wife's like, and there's a gal jogging. And the wife's like, I think that lady's naked. I said, What? I said, Hold on, let me get a closer look. <laughs> let me turn around and I'll let you know. <laughs> no, she's in front of us. Well, yeah, but so you got to go by so you, when you turn so around, you can up. see the front. Well, this is just it the can only's. No, no, no. Only from the bottom down. What? Yeah, top covered, bottom naked. No way. I shit you not. So she's jogging and it totally... Well, let me finish the no, story. No, no, no. Let me no, finish the story. Oh, no, no. So I'm pulling up and I kind of slow down, but I didn't want to like look weird like I was slowing down because it was weird, you know? And uh, so this gal's running. She's got a, a, a top on and then she's got like a shirt that she's holding over her front parts, but everything else is naked. Like her ass was naked. In the- yeah, or, yeah, basically that's it. Yeah. Okay. She had a uh, uh, something covering up her front hoo her, area. Her bajiba. Her bajiba. <laughs> her bajiba had a sweater on. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, so I'm cruising and and I'm like, yep. And there's these two people standing there, right? And this is like a townhouse development where you can run in and then run right into your unit. So this lady's running down the road. We look over and we're like, what the hell? And these two people are standing there. It looked like a mom and a dad. And they just give us the thumbs up and the big smirk. Was she being chased? I mean, what no, was going on? No, I think she on? lost a bet. I think she lost a bet. So she had to like run and get the mail with no pants on. So she's running with her hoo-ha out. Well. Covered. Her back hoo-ha. See, here's the thing I don't get. Can you imagine as a guy jogging naked? I mean, you'd have the boys just slapping yeah, against each thigh. I mean, nah. Talk about chafing. Uh-uh. I'm out. No, I'm it out. would be no good. You know what, though? You'd bruise them. Here's the deal. I'm thinking she lost a bet. You got to tighten and them up. And she had to up. go get the mail with no with no bottoms on. Why and are you going with getting the mail? What if she, she was just like, had run, to run around a block? Well, because she was like across the street and like came across the road. And it was just weird. It was just weird. But I'm like, uh, you know. I, was I'm she like, cute? Eh. Eh. I can't comment. I mean, I, she was okay. It wasn't like bad to look at. Wasn't like Rosie O'Donnell running across the street. It was like eight beers, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> anyway, okay, okay got gotcha. you. So that was, uh, and I got the thirteen-year-old in the back. I'm like, dude, because he's in his he's in his little video game thing, right? Oh, I his bet phone. he woke up real. I'm quick. like, hey, dude, naked chick. So all of a sudden, he takes time to look over and 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 see what's happening. I'm like, oh, so that's what it takes to get you off your little phone? Because he was. Uh, God, that damn phone, man. And now they have Mario Kart on the iPhone. So he's, I'm never getting him back. He's going to be. No, he's gone. He's gone. It's over. It's done. But I, uh, I, so I'm like, this is the weirdest thing ever. Like, you just don't see that. But I go back to, I don't know, whatever, five, seven, eight shows ago when uh, I brought this up. How long do you think it is before the women's equal rights thing takes over and they don't have to wear shirts anymore either? 
You know what's coming. Oh my God, they just did you know this in coming. Colorado. No, they just did this in Colorado where they made it legal for women to walk around with no tops on. Come on. I swear to the Lord. God, I want heaven. to move to Colorado. I know. Sunshine. Well, maybe, but when I saw the Creed. ad for it, yeah, I'm not quite sure that the people that are walking around with no tops on are yeah, the people you want to see walking case. around with no tops on. That's usually the case. You get into these... Harry arm. I mean, ah! yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's like when you go to the nude beach. Like, no, that ain't right. There's a reason. There's a reason, baby. Hey, I uh, uh, I think we hit 95 uh, all three days I was in no Phoenix. No way, but it's dry heat. Wasn't that bad. Found some good happy hours. Hit my sushi place. I might I, be going to Phoenix in next week. I'll give you the place. Sushaholic, baby. Sushaholic, 2 to 8 o'clock happy hour. It's a little funeral I want to dip into. So you can, I hate funerals. So you're going to travel for a funeral? Why don't you enjoy I think your, I might. Why don't you enjoy your delicious beverage while you're on the air? Send this. Sprite. Sprite, good. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? Go right ahead. spot <laughs> did i just did the ice in it just sound yeah, i have so a drink delicious. of your delicious sprite <laughs> it sounds delicious <laughs> mind if i have a bite of your cheeseburger <laughs> that's a big kahuna burger Ooh. <laughs> hey uh so we go to sushaholic and normally i could go in there and just make a mess of myself for 50 bucks like discount sushi that's really good so i just go in there and clean up well i brought uh the college kid the 13 year old and the wife this time and uh, I put my normal feed bag on. We dropped $120 in there on happy hour. No. I didn't even have a Virgin Bloody Mary on at that time. Mm. That is legitimately expensive. Sushaholic. Sushaholic, man. Check it out. Anybody who's listening in the Scottsdale area, we got a pretty good presence What's in your favorite sushi? Uh, what do you mean? Like the favorite thing to eat. Like what's uh, your you favorite? Know, I'm, the, I'm a tuna guy. I like the tuna on the uh, the sashimi. Have you tried like uni? It's yumi. No uni. I don't even know what that is. Uni? Yeah, sea urchin. No. You should. What is that? Seahorse? No, it's sea urchin. I don't the know little what that spiny is. things that you step on and no, they get in your feet. No, I don't need any of that foreign shit in my mouth. <laughs> Why are you eating that? Where do you get that shit? from? Hey, you know what fact I did yesterday? What? <sighs> I'm afraid to admit it. I want to hear it. So I went to the local pizza joint Tuesday night. Mm. I always order the pizza with no onions, and they Why? made it with onions. So I'm like, you know what? It's fine. Why? We'll eat it. I don't want to wait anymore. I'm dying. I don't like onions. I don't have to like onions. Do you like green olives? Yes. I'll eat anything but anchovies and onions. And if the onions are cooked in there and I don't know they're in there, it don't bother me a bit. So anyway, I eat this pizza with onions. And they're like, well, we already got another one in the oven. I'm like, well, I'm not going to eat two pizzas. Well, it's already in the oven. So they half-baked it. So I bring this half-baked, full-size pizza with no onions home. Last night, I'm sitting there talking to the bride. I'm like, hey, I might as well make that pizza, right? I can go pizza two days in a row. I can just hear the fat whisperer screaming right now. Was it good? Yeah, it was better the first night. I don't you know, just that cut that thing in half and just take that, half of it right with you Well, the half-baked the thing kind of got weird, you know? So anyway, we finished it. We ate the pizza. I grilled it. Oh, killer. Uh, but we get done and I'm like, man, I could go for some pie. So the little dude's like, well, I could eat pie. <laughs> and the wife goes, I'll do the dishes if you run to get the pie. I'm like, God. So I went to Kowalski's to get a pie. Because I'm not eating that shit they got at the local place. I need, I need gourmet pie. Like a real pie. You're so a pie snob. Kind of. Well, they got a uh, strawberry rhubarb at uh, Kowalski's that I'll walk over burning coals for that stuff. Mm. So I get there, and I didn't even think to call ahead. They only had a half. So they had a full apple crisp, which is what she wanted. So I dropped 25 bucks on pie. A half and a full? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take a pie and a half. You know what? I give you a pie and a half <laughs> and uh, throw a caramel apple in because I need something to munch on on the way home. Right. So we... <laughs> We, div uh, you know, and, and the ice cream store is now closed because the season ended. And I happen to have a little vanilla left, 
So I throw a little vanilla on there. Well, the ice cream store closed, so I had a little whipped cream left. So just as I'm doing that, the Big Easy texts me. Oh, he, no. He goes, hey, man, I'm so disappointed in myself. When I left the house today, I said, okay, only salad. I'm not eating anything else but salad because he and I are both like comparing waistline problems. He goes, I'm only eating salad today. And he goes, I just got $50 worth of Chinese food and sat down. <laughs> I said, that's nothing, dude. I just drove 40 minutes to get to pie. Get a pie and a after half. I had a pizza. Telling you. I that's gotta good. get this under why control. Do have, why do you have no moral fabric to fight it? Because it's good. Pie tastes good. You gotta fight it. Bacon tastes good. Yeah, but whatever, dude. You got vices. You oh, drink, I got a lot of you them. You drink water. No, you know? I got a lot of vices. <laughs> I got a lot of them. I, Let's, I, this isn't that's that's for the next podcast that's, we do that's for the next show <laughs> i uh i don't know and i you know i'm thinking i got to get it under control though i really have to uh i really have to uh uh get a rain on it i got to start exercising i mean really especially when i was in phoenix the youth of today and the younger kids man they don't look like us fat people they're all like built and working Don't out. Don't you shit. like walk through the woods or something uh, and like nature yourself? Uh, so here's a question I have. I got a bike that I bought this year. It's yeah. Really nice. Used it once. I know right where it is though. <laughs> <laughs> you told me when you used it too. Schlam. We yeah. talked about you well, using it. Well, the problem is, is when I bike, I like to bike like 30 miles. I don't like this little five mile and done stuff. Yeah, but you always end up at a pl- like a <laughs> eating yeah, establishment. Yeah. Right? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm challenging myself. We're not going to do sushi for a month. Why? Because we overdid it. I mean, I might sneak some in, but she said no more for a month. Um, And I'm not going to uh, 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 write this down. Write this down. Today's September 26th. No more nachos. I got to get off the corn chips. I'm going to call bullshit on that, but. Dude, but, but. I can honestly tell you. Me quitting nachos is like quitting smoking, drinking, or chewing. Gotta have them. I gotta have them. I can get. I can walk away from the pie anytime. I can be done with pie. Pie's not a problem. Cake? Ugh, God, there's still birthdays. You gotta have cake on birthdays. But I'm telling you, nachos? Come on. I don't think you can do it. I can do it. I'll so take- when are we going to do it? It's for September 26th to the October 26th or what? Well, the family's doing October so, but I'm starting now. Just October for October. Yeah, like a second, diet, like an good? October diet, October first. You I, can have nachos. You're telling me that you're gonna have five days of no nope. nachos. Yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna go a month. I'm so going a month. you're going to October 26th. October 26. Mark that down. It's down. Ichne on the acho ne. Oh, are you gonna be honest about this? I should probably have one more before I. No, 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 no. You gonna be honest about it? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll, every every podcast will have a nacho update. I'm in. And the one podcast when I say it's not your fucking business. That then I, I know you're it. lying. That means I cheated. Then you cheated. I cheated, baby. Yeah. God, I just found some killer nachos too, but that's all right. I'm walking away. Oh, you're so bad. I quit smoking like a long time ago. Long time ago. Like 20 years ago. And that was hard. But quitting nachos might be just as hard. Do they have a patch? They have a patch for quitting the nacho. Like you get a chip, like you do at AA. <laughs> you get a chip and a little adhesive on your shoulder. Yeah, is that the nacho patch? Yeah. You get a nacho chip. It, I haven't had nachos. <laughs> How long have you been clean? Six you got days. The little, you got the little Dorito burn on your shoulder <laughs> yeah, from the triangle. Clean 60 oh, days. Oh, dude, you off the nacho? Yeah, yeah, that's legit. Oh, that's so hilarious. Hey, you know what? I, uh, I got to tell everybody, we got some new merch and I got some new shirts customized couple different colors but i'm in the process of a website update so they're not on the website yet i'm trying to jazz up the website we got some <clears throat> listeners that wrote in and they're like hey your uh website's a little mechanical your website's a little dry we'd listen we'd listen more if your website didn't suck well that's not what i got from it i'm thinking what it was was these were website people trying to drum up business mm-hmm. speaking of which how many phone calls in the last two weeks, have you gotten from somebody saying, hey, this is Martin with All Roofing Inc. We're doing some roof estimates in your house or in your neighborhood, and we want to see if we can come over and get on your roof because there's some storm damage in your area. 
Scam. I hang up on him. Don't ever call me. Don't step foot on my property. I bet I've got four of them in the last two weeks. Hello, this is Martin with All Roofing. I know it. I hate that shit. How do they get our cell phone numbers? Why is my cell phone number? They buy them. Who's selling it? Your phone company. The rising son of a bitch. They're selling it. Traders. Like, they're not getting enough money off me. Traders. I've been fighting with Frontier about some internet service, man. I tell you. You like to fight with everybody. Well, I don't like getting ripped off. I don't like getting ripped off. Frontier is, I don't know how they stay in business. They are the most poorly run company there is. They're not good. No, they got an abandoned building in town that's been there for a long time. Like right down here? Right over there. There? Oh, yeah, there's one over there, but they occupy that one. There's people in that one. But that one over there is just vacant. What are they doing with it? Just collecting spiders. I don't know. Stupid. I don't know. So we got uh, twins going to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Vikings are coming off a win. Mm -hmm. I uh, sat at the bar and watched a lot of football on Sunday. With a virgin Bloody Mary. I did have one. A virgin? Virgo, yeah. Hmm. I I, um, What? You know what I did have while I was there was uh, buffalo chicken dip. It's pretty good. I don't think that fits into the diet, though. You You know what? Cut that out till October 26th. Oh, I'm cutting it out permanently. I had to do something I didn't. I never in my life wanted to do. (laughs) Which is. (laughs) I I I I I I ate the (laughs) buffalo chicken dip. It was pretty good. It was spicy, and the kid wasn't finishing it. So I'm like eating it. I don't like the waste. You want more chips? Sure, we'll take more chips. So I eat more of it. And then I get that little stomach rumble. I'm like, (laughs) I'm going to have to shit in a bar. (laughs) Who shits in a bar? You do. I can't do this. (laughs) I waited in line for the big office in the bathroom. I had to. I didn't have a choice. I had a code red. That is bad. See, you were ripping on people about the code red the other day. (laughs) I'm telling you. There's nothing I can do. I was... Knocking on the door of a spill. <laughs> like, it, it could have been toxic waste. It could have been trouble. Who serves that, that shit? It's like molten who lava. Who eats that shit? I do. Why wouldn't you go with the veggie you know plate? The, <laughs> uh, can I get a Virgin Bloody Mary on a veggie plate? Well, yeah. yeah get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You're already gay as fuck with your <laughs> drink. So you no. Might as well get the kid it. eats it. The kid eats. Excuse me. No, the kid. kid eats anything buffalo. Uh, anything buffalo you know what I, I i went back to that same restaurant later that night and had dinner i don't know what to do i'm like uh, place is called cold beer and cheeseburgers how can you not go there it was packed that's super funny i actually that, watched a browns football game man who does that really it's the packers and uh eagles tonight so by the time this is out yeah, that no, game I'm, will be over that'll be fun. i'll watch that yeah why why I don't know fantasy football. Philadelphia dogs and and uh, oh, Aaron Rodgers. You think we'll get Aaron Rodgers when he retires from the Packers? Like I don't know. It's funny dog. you say that I'll though, because him. I was ripping a couple fat Packer fans the other day. Oh yeah, that there's when we were watching the game, and I was like, "Well, there's our future quarterback." Yeah, yeah. Speaking I, of which, the Browns, the uh, who did the Browns play? When Sunday night? Don't know. It was a close game. But they were at the Brown Stadium, and they retired Clay Matthews' number, and he is playing for the other team. Didn't he play for the Green Packers? Bay, yeah. So when was he at Cleveland to where two they could year, retire his number? Year, two years ago. Like, you really know, or are you just making that up? No, I'm telling you. Really? Yeah. I think you're full of malarkey. I'm not. Are you kidding? No, he didn't play for him last He's year. He's with either. the Rams right now. Yeah. And but, that was la- uh, two years ago. But why would the Browns or, or, this retire is his, his number? second year with? Really? Yeah. I don't know why the I think you might have missed that. Uh huh. So it could have been because he never played for the Browns. Yeah, I think you. Are you sure it was Clay Matthews? Was there another guy they retired the number for? Yeah. Dude, you just <laughs> making it up. I'm making it up. No as I go way. On. No, there was. There was. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, Browns retire number. All right, go ahead. But it came out Browns retire number. Here's a question: As long as we're on something pro, and you can cut in when you know. <laughs> if you're an amateur or a pro, and what would be in between them? 
<laughs> me? No. <laughs> like, it would college, it be, right? No, would no, it be like amateur. semi-pro or yeah. would it be... Like, yeah. what would the word for it be? Well, I don't know. What Independent do league. Like, yeah. what would it be? Yeah, you could do that. I don't know. All right, I have a big question. You got to pay attention to it then. So I feature myself as a semi-pro mycologist. <laughs> oh, mycologist? Yes. Oh, my God, dude. Do you know what it is? Uh, that buzzing noise you hear is my bullshitometer. <laughs> no, it, no, uh, no. It's going off. Semi-pro mycologist. And that is a person that... Shovels bullshit all day? No, understands, like, the methods and the and mushrooms. Like, the science what? and understanding mushrooms. Yeah. So I'll go in the woods and I'll find <laughs> mushrooms. We've gone off the rails. No, no, we're good. Is You're, that what that's called? Well, mycologist, yeah. Bullshit. No. God, so my, as a my semi, Googler's getting a lot of work So today. as a semi-pro mycologist. Mycologist? Yep. So I'll go and I'll find mushrooms, and I understand which ones you can eat and which ones you can't. And as a public service announcement, don't go out in the woods looking for mushrooms if you don't know what you're doing, because you'll die. Uh, the right idea, yeah. Because you'll die. The other day. I don't think there is such a thing, dude. I think you're making that shit nope. up. So uh, la the other, like... Saturday, Sunday, I don't remember what day I'm driving by this cemetery. And there is mycology. a mycology. Yeah, I'm a mycologist. Mycology is the science of it. Yeah, I, so, I, I gathered that thing. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. So I'm driving by a cemetery. The branch of biology dealing with fungi. Yeah. So I'm driving by a cemetery, and I see this beautiful hand of the woods growing on an oak tree in the cemetery. And I'm thinking to myself, I want to go get that mushroom, because it's one of, it's one of the best mushrooms to eat. What is it called? A hand of the woods. Would you ever in your life pick a mushrooms out of a cemetery? Because just think about I would, it. No, I would, I'm just telling you. I wouldn't pick a mushroom from anywhere. So I keep seeing it now daily when i drive by it i think i know where it is and, and i'll go get it and it is eat me up a little bit because i want to eat the mushroom but i'm not quite sure the fertilizer of the mushroom come on <laughs> how deep do they grow like how deep is the root well i don't want to get into the deep science of mushrooms with you because it's probably a little heavy for you but <laughs> <laughs> once you go down that rabbit hole what are you gonna do so mushrooms <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the mushroom segment for today. <laughs> Come on. You couldn't get it all in. Sorry, we only have so much time to talk about micro, oh, mycology. mycology. Mushrooms I thought are, you were saying that because you work with music and mixing and no, stuff like a microphone. No, no. That would be a producer genius, and I am that. So the... Um, <sighs> I got to come up with a bigger bullshit alarm. <laughs> yeah, <just> what? <laughs> Uh, okay, so... Well, now that we got that. So, what, question. <coughs> a mushroom that you want to eat is grown in a cemetery. I don't think I would, would it. you eat it? I don't it? think I would do it. No. I, don't I don't even like walking in a cemetery. I can't do it either. Much less eating... Depends, though. If you could see how deep the root ball is. It's not a root ball. It's called mycelium, and it grows under the ground, and the mushroom is actually just the fruit of the greater or organism that's growing under the ground. I'll see you later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mycelium. Get out of here. Yeah. All right, this is... We got to start this over. <laughs> mushrooms! <laughs> Man, we don't need no mushrooms. <laughs> oh well, I you know, tune in next week to see if the fat host eats nachos and the sidekick <laughs> eats a graveyard mushroom. I don't think I can do it. Dun 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 <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, we're probably gonna get a lot of emails on that. People aren't gonna care about the comment about the naked chick running or the or the the mm -mm. virgin bloody mary comments they're, they're gonna care about, about the, the mushrooms eating mushrooms out of a graveyard Ugh, i don't know i wouldn't do it i can't do it i wouldn't do you know anybody who's buried there yeah in that area of the mushroom uh not in the direct area but within a couple mm. hundred feet of it i don't, I don't think you I know what do it. for next week's show i want you to pick that mushroom bring it in and we're gonna eat it no we're not what do you cook it well, yeah, you cook it. And then what, a little sauce or something? 
Well, yeah, you could do it in a little butter and a little bit of, <sighs> or whatever, and a little, oh, I know how to cook I'm in. them. I'm in. One graveyard delight for me, please. You want a graveyard mushroom? One graveyard, de- yeah, you go pick it and cook it, and I'll just eat it. I'll do what I do best, and that's eat. I don't think I can eat a graveyard mushroom. Fine, I'll I eat it. I don't think I can just do it. Just prepare it to perfection. You're getting in your own head now. You can't do that. You just got to roll right through it. If you're an actual mycologist, you know that you should just overlook that and get in there. Well, I don't know because in the last 30, 40 years, they've been doing a good job of putting the people in the crypt and stuff. But before that... I would see how old the headstone is. (laughs) They just threw it in the the ground in a pine uh, box. Yeah. If 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 it's older than 60, I wouldn't eat it. You know, like the, the, if the headstone's pre sixty, I wouldn't eat. I wonder it. if you can get like DNA from people out of it. <laughs> I don't oh. know. I can't do it, man. <laughs> We're gonna let that mushroom just grow and live its life. Just live and be free. <laughs> you can see it from the road. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. It's a big one, man. I've never been big in the mushroom thing. I like I like mushrooms, but. I'm not going out to get them or pick them or any of that. That's too much. Too much. Really? It's too much. It's fun to walk in the woods. Go for a walk in the woods, get over the nacho thing, and get some mushrooms. Hey, my mom had a uh, mouse in her house. <laughs> Did you try to rhyme that? She's in a retirement community. She has an apartment, and she has a mouse. So my seven-year-old fragile mother is out buying mouse traps. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, well, I got a mouse. 72? Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? She goes, I got a mouse. I'm like, call the superintendent. You don't, you're not on mouse patrol. Come on. She's not going to be happy I brought that up. I might have to cut that out. Did she catch it? I don't know. I haven't talked to her. I haven't gotten the, I haven't gotten the update. Got to envision I was in a, uh, I was in a, uh, not last night, but I was in a grocery store nightmare where I, I, I go to this line and this lady looks like she's going to be fast and she's not. So I'm sitting there, and she's like, oh. And then I look over at the other one. The dude's writing a check. Who writes a check? And at the grocery store? Jesus. I haven't seen that for years. I'll be real upfront with people when I'm standing in line. I'll talk to them. I'll make small talk. But I'll just tell them, you know what? All bets are off if you start stroking a check. I said, then we're throwing down. I ain't got time for you to write out your full name. No, I do mind. Uh, the dude minds. This will not stand, you know? This aggression will not stand, man. Who writes out their full name on a check? Like, what? with their middle initial and whatever? You get a squiggly line, that's it. What are they writing checks for anyways? Don't they have the little card thing? Who? Well, a lot of old people don't get into the card thing. They're not going to adapt. They just They're, they're just not going to do it. But whatever, I don't Isn't know. Isn't that a standard issue thing? You get a checking account, you get a card. <laughs> yeah, do they even send you checks anymore? <laughs> I mean, no. You got. I had ask someone come to the it. ice cream store, and uh, and my uh, internet was down. So then my computer, uh, the service we use, just logs all of the you know transactions, and then once I have internet, it punches them all through. And the lady goes, "I'd rather not do that. I don't. You know, uh, my husband's not big on me using a debit card at all." And I'm just like, "What? <laughs> like?" My Where, husband's not big. Where'd you, where'd you park your horse and buggy? Who doesn't use a debit card? Come on. Although, if you've been at Target lately, they got shit going away. They, uh, they're they seriously uh, getting a few people stealing their whatever it is, their transactions. It's a little bit unsettling. Unsettling to see the amount of transactions they're stealing. Wow. But it's criminals. They're out there, man. Everywhere you look. Criminal, criminal, criminal. I hate criminals. Let's put a pin in this bitch. All right. Uh, you know, last week I promised everybody that we were going to have a special guest that he got delayed, so it's probably going to be, uh, maybe we'll do a tweener show. Maybe I'll add it on to the end of this show. I don't know. It'll this baby's good, uh, shift on the fly. We'll do what we need to do. But hey, everybody, uh, make sure you give us a review. Um, tell all your friends. A little five-star review wouldn't hurt anybody. Nope. Get us up there in the ratings. We're climbing, but we need to climb faster, higher, faster, farther. So everybody, tune in next week. Tell a friend. Give us a review. Until then, take care. See ya. That's it. That's the end. That's a wrap. Read the shtick. That's a wrap for today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends. If you'd like to reach out, you can use the studio line at 612-504-6500 or by email, the DK Project Podcast at gmail.com. And of course, there's always social media at the DK Project Podcast. Thanks for tuning in.